Today I'm going to be sharing five tips for getting better photos of your artwork, for sharing to social media, or for selling on websites like Etsy. It took me a few years to figure out that if I want people to pay attention to my art, I need to pay attention to the way I'm taking my photos. So if you like how I take photos, then hopefully some of these tips will be helpful for you too. No amount of filters or editing can replace good natural light. Find a window in your house or your workspace that has natural indirect sunlight. And experiment with different times of day for where you live. Lighting at different times of day can vary slightly in tone. Here's an example of a painting in um, no light, really, just on my desk about five feet away from that window that I've been showing. And then here's the same painting at the same time of day directly below the window in natural light. So for the backgrounds for your photo, you want a nice flat surface. Any kind will do. I like this light wooden colored shelf that I have right by my window. I think it's a really neutral and pretty background that doesn't take away from the photos that I'm taking. Of course, you can always make your own background from scrapbook paper, fabric, or a piece of wood. This way you can move your background to wherever the good lighting happens to be and you're not limited to just one spot. You can also use different themed backgrounds for different types of artwork, depending on the feel that you want to create. This leads right into my next tip, which is choosing props to add interest to your photos. You'll notice a lot of the time I use my art supplies as the main props. This is a simple and effective way to tell a story about how the artwork was created. Of course, if you want to get a little fancier, what I like to do is collect decorations from around my house and place them strategically around my artwork, kind of framing it. Items I tend to use a lot are rocks or crystals, um, fake flowers, I use candles, um, kind of anything that I think is going to add a little interest. Of course, you don't want to do too much. Here's kind of an example of maybe too many things, or at least it is when you look at it this way. Um, so I've got my art supplies, the crystals and fake flowers, the candle, my jar for water. Then if you crop it, take some of those things out, it actually kind of works. Typically I'll only use about three props per picture, and uh, for art supplies especially I only try to show maybe the three main, two or three main colors for what I used for that piece. When I'm laying everything out for my photo, I like to imagine that it's all on a grid. Maybe not literally, but I think that it makes a really nice and visually appealing piece when everything is kind of lined up with the sides of um, the artwork either horizontally or vertically, either way. However, you don't have to do this every time. Here's an example where the artwork is all lined up and then all of the supplies that were used are lined up together at a different angle to create some visual interest. But feel free to lay things out however you want. Sometimes it's fun to break the rules and sometimes it makes things a little bit more interesting. The best way to get an accurate picture of your art is to take your photo from directly above with no odd angles. The easiest way to do this is before you take the photo, you just visually line up the sides of your piece with the sides of your viewfinder so that they're parallel and they create almost little rectangles on the sides of your image. Here you can see that I didn't make those rectangles and everything is kind of distorted. Her neck looks a little bigger than it actually is. Of course, everything doesn't always have to be straight up and down. Once you've found that you're directly above your image, you can always turn your camera to create more interesting shots. If the corners of your image are curling and you don't have time to flatten it out, you can always take some regular tape and tape your corners down. Um, this kind of creates the illusion of a flat image. You can also use your props to hold corners down. The same goes for your props, um, especially with paintbrushes, they tend to roll around, so you can always tape them down, tape them in place, and just crop that part out of the final image. And my final tip for you today is that a little bit of editing never hurts. Even if you've done all these things, usually it's good to up your brightness, um, your contrast, 
just gotta play with the settings until you find some that work for you. And of course these are all just tips, not rules. Sometimes I take pictures at weird angles or I don't use props at all. It just kind of depends on what I'm feeling like in that moment. So that's all for today. I hope this was helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Good luck with your art, everyone, and thanks for watching!